It's game day here in sold out San Francisco at Levile Stadium. Both teams look primed to kill each other for our entertainment. <laughs> and I am getting visibly excited just thinking about what's to come. You know what I call your visible excitement, Grim? A San Francisco treat. Bricks, do me a favor. Don't make eye contact with me for the rest of the game. I'm a little uncomfortable now. Today's matchup is going to be complete mayhem. The teams are taking the field. The Cincinnati Mangles take on the San Francisco 40 Nightmares. Welcome to NFL Game Day. Grim Blitzrow here. Let's listen in on the sidelines and hear what the team's captains have to say. <laughs> it's time to turn on, tune in, and get your mutant buzz on. Hi, everyone. Grim Blitro here. It's MFL game day, and you know what that means. Yeah, the town will be in flames tonight, and half the city's population will be sliding down green street poles and eating all-you-can-eat horseship buffets from the curb. Yes, victory can be bittersweet sometimes, Bricks. Let's see if the home team can light up this town like a Roman candle. And it's first and ten. And this guy's running like an old guy looking for a bathroom. First down. And it's first and ten. And the defense jumps offside. And the whistle blows the play dead along with the quarterback. And it's first and ten. And then it's a first down from a great catch. Was it a catch, though? Let's consult at least 72 pages of rules to figure it out. And it's first and ten. When I was playing, a guy hit me so hard, I went into a dark tunnel. Thought I saw my grandparents waving at me in the light. Turns out it was just the visitor's tunnel that he knocked me into, and it was the paramedics waving fingers in my face. Second down and ten. And he snags it for six. Touchdown! Touchdown! Some who would argue that we should just skip this step and make touchdowns worth seven. What, and kick the kicker's job in half? They'd just be called sitters then. It goes right through. Yeah, like a double stuff burrito from Taco Hell. Here comes the kicker. Oh, I can't wait to hear this. What's the kicker, Grim? Uh, this guy in the field. Oh, I thought you were going to tell me a story like, here's the kicker. When I turned out the light, it wasn't a bra in my bed. It was a chip wearing a wig. And it's first and ten. He refuses to go down. Second down in a very lot. The quarterback has had enough and calls a murder ball dirty trick to lay waste to the defense. That's the way to move the chains. That's good for a first down. This game is all about momentum and killing. And 
And it's first and ten. Man, oh man, he hit that line the way your wife hits the all-you-can-eat buffet of crab apple trees, Bricks. Ah, uh, you're telling me. She ate 47 Salisbury steaks one time. Thought she had food poisoning. Turns out her low intestines just exploded. He was starting to go somewhere, but he gets stumped after three. They usually stop me after three, too. You know, the all-you-can-eat buffets? They're not as literal as you'd think. Second down and seven. the way to keep the chains moving. That was beautiful. First down and six. You know this berserk dirty trick ain't fair to the cube. Boom! And like the Titanic, his ship just went down. Hey, hey, I almost got that mutant bingo. All I need is 77 to bite it. Oh, what a brutal hit. <laughs> and it's first and ten. And he just used his beast boost dirty trick, and there's no way to stop him. Unless, of course, you kill him. Wow, look at that freak go! He's unstoppable! a big hit. Hey, Bricks, I bet you took a lot of shots like that over your career. Ah, uh, let's see. About a quarter after three, Grim. But my watch is a bit slow. And it's first and ten. First down. And it's first and ten. And the ball razors through the defense, cutting a defender in half. But that means you can wrap up the other. And he snatches that one out of the air for a first down. See if they can get something going here. First down and one. Through for a touchdown! Listen to this crowd! Hey, yeah, uh, Bricks, check the rule book. Is that a penalty? Why would I have the rule book? Oh, for fuck's sake. <laughs> They're back up here on first, and they've had enough. The offense jumps on sides and attacks the ref. First down in a mile. And they line up for the extra point. Straight through the uprights. The teams are lined up for the kickoff. Not a bad kick, but not a great one either. Well, his nickname is Lukewarm. And he's proud of that? Yeah, that's why he named his clothing company Lukewarm Threads. Their marketing team hates it. And it's first and ten. Look out, that's an all-out attack on the... It's not how many times you fall, it's how you get back up. Yeah, in this particular case, I'm thinking defibrillators and 100 cc's of adrenaline. I know, do it.
And it's first and ten. It's about a three-yard pickup. Second down and seven. Caught for the first down. That's the end of quarter one. Well, the good news is there's still time to make it a game. And there's still time to get a beer. And it's first and ten. He caught it, and nothing was going to stop him from getting into the end zone. Except maybe self-doubt, but he seems to have worked through it. Don't try to get fancy here. Just put the ball down and kick it. In that order, Grim? The kick is good. As expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. When you get knocked down, you got to get right back up and fight. And what about when you get knocked up? What do you do then? Run. laid the wood on that guy. Yeah, if you're gonna hit a guy that hard, you should at least kill him. Do him a favor. Finish him. And it's first and ten. He runs it for three. Second down and seven. First and ten. Oh, man, he really... And then Katz will give him a first down. I don't know if they're his, but he sure has a good set of hands. And it's first and ten. Pickup of about three on that play. Second down and seven. And that's the way to get the sticks moving. He picks up five on that play. Third and two. Oh, and that one's gonna hurt. He may not be able to comprehend math after that hit. What's math? Exactly. First down and six. If there were any functioning brain cells before that hit, they're gone now. He's gonna have the IQ of a rutabag after that hit. And that'll bring up second and one. Touchdown! Oh, he ran through those defenders like a greased turkey. Well, a little chip shot here, extra point, but this guy could blow it. You gotta be kidding! 
behind me. My sister could have made that kick. Isn't your sister in a wheelchair? I know, right? Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if the defense can hold them. He sets up for the return. Let's see if he can break one wide open. You ever get hit in the head with a boat all grim? Nope. Well, I have on several occasions. Not surprising. Multiple times on each occasion. Not surprising. And trust me, that hit was worse. He took a beast boost injection. Now watch him stomp all over his opponents. I want to take a beast boost injection too. Uh, now that is weird side effects, Bricks. He's at the 10. Oh, and they got him. That's a touchdown saving tackle. <laughs> First down to seven. And he was starting to go somewhere, but he gets stumped after three. They usually stop me after three, too. You know, the all you can eat buffets? They're not as literal as you'd think. And that'll be second down and four. He sits that one in there for a touchdown. Okay, nice and easy like a two-foot putt. You miss two-foot putts all the time, Grim. It's good. The home crowd isn't impressed with that showing, but their team has a chance to respond. Morning, and we'll take a quick timeout. Well, will you tell the interns to get us some Franken dogs and a couple of beers? I'm dry over here. I'll take nachos and a scotch. Oh, at least they can pee for me, too. Looks like the defense called the ginormous dirty trick. That's a whole lot of player right there. And he held on to that one for a first down. They stunt the clock with their first timeout, leaving them with two in case they need them. Yeah, just like condoms, hatchets, and wives, huh, Grim? You know, you just summed up why we don't get together outside of work, Bricks. I do it. Quarterback passes for a touchdown. They're going for two. And the defense stops him cold. That play just got blown to hell. Yeah, he got blown to shit. Let's see if they can keep the momentum going and keep these fans happy and uh, or bloodthirsty, whichever. First and ten. Now well, 
Looks like he wanted to run before he caught it. You gotta keep your eye on the ball. Come on, you dirtbag. You gotta make that catch. Second down and ten. Ouch! What is this, 80s wrestling? And they stop the clock with their first time out to try and stay in this game. Oh, nice coaching move there. Hall of Fame caliber. Well, I mean, it's a pretty standard coaching move at this point of the game. I won't listen to this blasphemy. I've seen this guy run through a brick wall. He loves pain. First down. The QB saves some clock by calling a timeout. They have one left. And it's first and ten. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot three. He might have managed to dig out a yard on that one. Not my yard. Got too much buried in, you know, the usual money. And that's the last time out. They can't stop the clock anymore. Can any of us really stop the clock, Grim? I mean, when it comes right down to it, are we not all united by the constant reminder of our own mortality? Of that's constant, relentless advance? He dropped it. If he does that again, they'll drop him. And the offense goes into their two-minute drill. Which coincidentally happens to be Brick's match stupsing time. That's why the girls call me Speedy Gonzalez. Nicely done for a first down. And it's first and ten. somehow and hold on for the first down. This guy has a nice set of hands, Grim. It's the third set of hands he's had shown on today. Looks like it's a good fit. And he snags it for six. Touchdown! Touchdown! Another bullshit penalty. How long are these guys going to take this? First and offense says it's time to put the ref out of his misery. Yeah. Now this one's going to be tough. I hope he has a good enough leg for this one. I saw him trying one on before the game. He looked okay, I think. Not my type, though. Now that's what's so frustrating about kickers. They're all head cases. All oh, that work and they come up empty. And that's the end of the second quarter. Someone will need to pull together some bribe money as they head to their lockers. Stay with us for the halftime show, brought to you by our friends at Monsatan Industries. We make genetically altered Franken food you'll have fun trying to identify. Welcome back. Hope you enjoyed the carnage during today's halftime show. Obviously, they need to play a lot harder here in the second half to make a game of it. Or they can start cheating and killing. That's what I'd do. The home team is feeling confident as they get the kickoff into the air. Scoring makes anyone confident. It certainly does, Bricks. It certainly does. High five! Oh, that's a vicious hit, and the crowd loves it. He just turned that guy into 300 pounds of ground mutant meat. And you can't hit a guy much harder than that. And that is unfortunate. Oh, and they just deflated the quarterback's balls right there. Hey, man, I was going to hit him now. You know what happened? Second down, and we've got to pick up at least half of this. And he pounds the ball into the defense, picking up seven. Third 
third down and tired of the quarterbacks tight spirals and oh, wow if you're a defender the only good QB is a dead one bricks wow he must be pretty good then because he is dead First and ten. Hot, hot one, hot two. Hot. And he's off to the races. First and ten. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot, hot three. No. Second down in a mile. in for a first down to keep the drive alive. They might consider calling a kill the ref play. Just saying. <laughs> Second down and, and they've had enough. The offense jumps on sides and attacks the ref. Second down, and we've got to pick up at least half of this. One, hot two, hey. Oh, what a great defensive play that was, Bricks. Kind of like your Aunt Bertha. This guy has some big balls. What a hit. Yeah, she does have a big pair, Grant. You're right. Hey. And there's an eight-yard catch. Chipping away with those medium pairs. I like it, like a patient prison break. Well, this kick is no guarantee. Sure it is. If he misses, he's fired. Guaranteed. He's got the distance, and the kick is good! When you get knocked down, you gotta get right back up and fight. Well, what about when you get knocked up? What do you do then? Run. And it's first and ten. Some good old fashioned downhill running as he picks up nine yards on the play. And that'll bring up second and one. And that's a nice run for a first down. And it's first and ten. Nice run for five yards. Second down and five. And the defense goes for the jugular and rushes to kill the court. You know, if he was still talking, he'd probably be saying, Psycho killer, Keska say, what the fuck, the fuck, the fuck? <laughs> the offense lost another quarterback on the previous play and have only two left before they have to forfeit. <laughs> Right side win. They save a ton of money by not having to pay those guys anymore. Uh, I don't think the funeral expenses that is. And 
and it's first and ten. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot three. Oh, man, the offense called a murder ball. Ninja. That's the way to move the chains. That's good for a first down. This game is all about momentum yeah. and killing. And it's first and ten. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot, 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 hot. And he picks up eight yards on a strong run. Second down and two. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot, hot. Nail him right on the numbers for a touchdown. And here comes the extra point attempt. right through. Yeah, like a double stuff burrito from Taco Hell. The best kind of kick is when it's right after a score. Hey, speak for yourself. I'm usually the one who gets kicked after scoring. First and ten. Hot, hot one, hot two. Eight. And that was a bone crusher right there, folks. And it's first and ten. Hot, hot one, hot two. Eight. And he gets three yards on that run. Second down and seven. Oh, he's going berserk. The ball carrier better watch out because if he gets hit, he is dead. He's leaving a wake of destruction in his path, and the body toll continues to climb. Oh, sure, now he catches it. I had this guy on my fantasy team last week. I lost so much money on him, not to mention my kneecaps. My loan shark is very anal about collecting my money on time, Grim. Gives up five yards there. Second down and five. chunk of yards on that pass play and that brings us to the end of the third quarter they'll need to fire on all cylinders to make a comeback in the final quarter oh boy they're going for it this could get uglier than the he's got his beast boost working the player just transformed into a violent form of pure badass touchdown For one when you could go for two. It's always been my philosophy, but Bricks can't even get one. Oh, you're talking about points. Yo, man, 
and nobody can touch me when I ball. I take all you mutants out. That's right. What you talking about? They need a good return here to set up the offense. They're going to be able to return this one. Seven. I personally think the ginormous guy is compensating for something, but I won't be the one to tell him. I'm a house killer and shiver. I am a killer and shiver. No, they couldn't pick up a first down, so now they have to punt. Let's see if they can get a return. And he snags the punt and looks... If that hit didn't cripple him, it certainly left skid marks. And it's first and ten. Hot, hot one, hot two. Hot, hot, hot. And that's how you run the football. First down. First and ten. Hot, hot one, hot two. Hot. Second down and more than the QB would like. Hot one, hot two. Hot. a murder ball, which will slice its way through any defensive player trying to block it. Oh, great pass on that play. They caught the defense napping. <laughs> Third down and five. Blows up the receiver on the play and knocks the ball loose. I don't understand why are they going for it, Grim? This seems like the situation where they should always, always, always punt. Well, tell our viewer. Oh, he just heard footsteps and took his eye off the ball. What a peck of it. Get the ball, asshole. First and ten. Hot, hot one, hot two. He could go all the way. And it's first and ten. Hot, hot one, hot two. Hot, hot. Now watch him stop all over his opponents. I want to take a big boost injection, too. Uh, now that has weird side effects, Bricks. And that's just a great run for a touchdown. Yeah, man, I was huge on the now. You know what <laughs> They want more points, so they're going for two. And he 
gets into the end zone for the conversion. The home team is feeling confident as they get the kickoff into the air. Scoring makes anyone confident. It certainly does, Bricks. It certainly does. High five! <laughs> and it's first and ten. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot three. And he sends him to the ground with an exclamation point. And a well-placed cleat. And it's first and ten. Hey. He picks up eight yards on that pass. Second down and two. First and ten. Hey. Oh, and he looks like he just saw 400 scary movies after that hit. Yeah, it sounds like my off season. And the quarterback signals for a hurry-up offense. Hey, Grim, what's the hurry-up offense? There's no huddle. The offense calls plays at the line of scrimmage. And into the end zone for a touchdown. Once he got his hands on that pass, he was on to the races. Bricks, they're going for two here. Hey. And they run it in for two points. <laughs> Looks like they're lined up for an onside kick. Ah, I thought they were going to do some sort of chorus line. And it's first and ten. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot, hot three. Pow! With the brain scrambler! They quickly call a timeout, hoping to save some time for their offense. Second down and seven. Hot, hot one, hot two. You can't keep a good mutant down. If there were any functioning brain cells before that hit, they're gone now. He's going to have the IQ of a rutabaga after that. The defense calls a second timeout. They really need to make a stop here. And it's first and ten. Hot, hot one, hot two, three. The defense has the receivers covered well. That's a three-yard gain on that pass. And that's their last timeout. The defense can't bend or break. They've got to get a stop here. Second down and seven. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot three. Put on a display there. Touchdown! And these guys think kicking is for pussies, Bricks. They're going for two. Yeah, they got big balls, Grim. Yeah, I'm thinking at yours. And he makes the grab and adds two points to their score. Man, look at those moves, Bricks. His teammates better compliment his dancing skills. Otherwise, they're going to be a pile of dead bison in the locker room again.
Let's see if they can keep the momentum going and keep these fans happy and uh, or bloodthirsty, whichever. The quarterback shifts gears and goes into his hurry up offense. Hot two. Hot. I don't remember calling 911, but the SWAT team is out in full force at the line of scrimmage. Nice play by the lineman. The offense wants to speed things up, so it signals a hurry up. Yeah, same as Prince's ex-girlfriend signaled when they were doing it. Yeah, she called it rabbit sex. Oh, a great catch, and he picks up a new set of downs. And it's first and ten. Hot one. I've seen this guy drop a lot of balls in the past, but I heard the quarterback threaten to throw him a real bomb if he dropped one again. You know, good communication is important. Oh, great catch! And that's a touchdown! Touchdown! Either way, they're going for two. Hey. See that move, baby? I'm the greatest. No, you didn't see that because I'm too fast. <laughs> Looks like they're lined up for an onside kick. Francisco 40 Nightmares have won the game in front of their hometown fans. And the stadium is screaming like a kid's party at Chuck E. Cheesy. They come up big today with a solid win, and the opposition will be licking their wounds on the long plane ride home. I heard wounds taste just like chicken. I was it Scramble's tomato soup? I forget, but a good scab tastes like bacon. That I know. Mm-mm, a scab lettuce tomato sandwich. Sounds like a picnic. And the MVP is about to inspire us with some words of wisdom. Once again, the folks at Evil SN thank our viewing audience and the Mutant Football League for allowing us to telecast this sports presentation. This is Grim Blitzrow with Brickhead Mulligan and Bricks Jr. signing off. Today's game was brought to you by the Hexon Oil Corporation. We drill it, spill it, and kill it so you...